Hi guys, one way of helping you with proportion is to do grid drawing. Now grid drawing is quite straightforward and it is not a task that will challenge you if you follow the logic. So we have here an image of our cylinder, cone and cuboid this time um, with a grid over the top of it. And you can see a corresponding grid and on the X axis labelled ABCD and on the Y axis labelled 1, 2, 3, 4. So you are going to look at each box and look at intersecting lines, first of all, in the image and the grid. So if I go into box A1 and I can draw onto this, about halfway I've made a little mark. Now, if I then come to about quarter, the quarter point here, the line is just to the side of it, it's just to the right hand side of it, so it intersects about there. Now I could continue plotting other things in this box, as we know, that's a rounded edge there. It hasn't got a point to it. It's not the fish face, as I talked about in other videos. So we will maybe go on to this point up here or that point there. I'm going to go on to this one. Now, this line isn't running parallel with the edge of the paper. I've put my pencil on to overemphasise it, but you see it's, it's going to a point. So if I drew a line going vertical, I know there's some distortion on it. It's coming across here. I could look at that distance and check it's about right. I'm quite happy with that. Now I am going to go to this point. And again, I often do this as a halfway marker. Just give myself a bit of a guide. If you're doing something where it's quite complex, you might see an artist has put a smaller grid within a section and has drawn that corresponding grid on to help you. So it's about here. And we might go to this point over there and decide that's about here. Now, at some point you'll think, oh, there's too many points, I'm getting confused. That comes there, that, that line comes down the side of that box there. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just beginning to start constructing those lines. I wonder how low that goes. I'm draw a line out there. So now I'm gonna connect that with a nice smooth arc rounding off the edge. That line's not straight yet, but at the moment I'm just working it out. I kind of say you find your line sometimes. I'm sketching, working out, making sure it's ultimately going to be accurate. I can go and tidy up my line later on. Rounded on that point there. Where would this come across to about there? That's about the halfway mark. So it comes to there. Now it doesn't obviously connect to there because the Cone is sat on top of it. I'm going to work out where that point is. Start drawing in a line that corresponds. But then I need to put this point in. The front arc of this is coming around here. Now, why is that from there? there maybe. It's going to intersect about there. Now you can look at something called negative space. If I talk about it here you might understand what I mean. See that shape there? Is this triangle I've drawn here the same shape? If it's vastly different that's the negative space. This is the positive object, so that's the space around it. But because there's a grid, you can see that shape really clearly. If that feels wrong, then something's wrong. You need to go back and check. So if I draw my straight line coming all the way up here, see I've even gone off the top. We know it's not off the top. The top of that is there. I know that the intersection is about here. So you can see me working back down. And again, I can draw a line that's continuous and work out the point afterwards. How high is that? Halfway again, just less than quarter, halfway. So somewhere down here. And it comes quite close. It doesn't touch this line there in the middle. So you can see the image being constructed. So I've gone on to construct the rest of the image. Now remember, we have an underdrawing and an overdrawing. And although I pressed a little bit hard, I'm working with a B pencil, so it's gone a little bit dark. The line could be just lightly rubbed or um, drawn over nonetheless. 
Now, some people like to leave the construction lines in. I don't mind all these little marks. I think there's a truth to it. But just with a little bit of a light rubber, I can then go over and tidy up some of those lines. So now, turning the paper so I've got a better angle for me to draw a clean line. I can start to draw back into it and start to put a much nicer line in. Now, if you were going to do a tonal drawing and apply tone to this, you might not want to press too hard. But in this case, I'm just applying the line because I'm interested in construction and plotting at the moment.